here and it comes to you guys live and direct. First and foremost, hit the honorableearners.com, grab your CMOS gold. That's 92 of that 102 minerals that your body is made of. First and foremost, let me get y'all understanding of something. This is CMOS gold. CMOS gold. You see that? You don't see a whole bunch of white stuff written all over it. All It's not thick. It doesn't look like it's been wet or any of that, that matter because it's dehydrated. When it's hydrated, it's only in the water, and it's not too much of a difference of how the look is. It's very small, like Dr. Sabi said. You know, remember Dr. Sabi also said that there was a man in Boston who was kind of like had a machine, and he was like, like duplicating sea moss from this machine, but it wasn't doing what a law done to it, you know? What it was doing was just making very, you know, thick pieces of sea moss that looks like it's wet a little bit with a bunch of salt on it. Nonetheless, I'm not here to, you know, stop anybody's urn. I just want everybody to understand that what I have, I only can speak on what I have. Sea moss gold, the same sea moss gold that Dr. Savy said when he looked in the water, he thought it was gold. Now, I want to speak on T.I. and the whole Kodak thing. I got to relax on this. Oh, before I, before I do that, let me give you some understanding of this honorable cream. I have this cream right here. This is the Moringa Leaf Cream. This is not like a water-based thing. You know, this is all natural. This is how you know when you see all natural stuff. You see how that's not holding together too tight and it's packed in, though? That gives you understand that it's natural because a lot of natural things don't stay together like branded and artificial things. But let me see, let y'all see how um, moringa leaf works. Look how the um, smell, that frankincense smell, along with it with the sea moss gold, all of it. But look, the shine, look now. Take that same oil hand. Look how it got me glowing. Here, everything. Let me give you some understanding. That feels wonderful. It feels regular. It doesn't feel like I put something on my body that wasn't supposed to be there. And before this video is over, I guarantee you, you're going to see that I'm not greasy at all. At all. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to speak on... The T.I. and the whole Kodak Black thing. T.I. run down on Kodak Black, you know, via um, social media. He's speaking bad things about Kodak Black. Well, I think that as a bigger homie, you give off the bad energy. You give off the wrong energy because you're doing almost the same thing that Nipsey Hussle's killer done. You're stopping the man's family from eating. Some of these things you are doing, some people are going to ride with you, T.I. And those people that ride with you, you have to understand that they're not understanding that this man has a family to feed. He came out the mud like you came out the mud. So at no way, for no price, did you ever want to stop the brother's urn. You dig me? You know, not, not, I don't care what I do. I will bring awareness to things like, yo, this is my product. And that product is their product, especially if they don't know how to speak on their product. I'll do that so people can get the understanding. But I don't never want to stop nobody from my urn. Now, that's what I feel like, without a question of a doubt, that T.I. is trying to do. He's kind of a little jealous that he's able to earn the way he is. You know, it was a lot different. You had to struggle and work a lot harder when T.I. was coming through the game. But T.I., you know, he's giving a lot of dudes opportunities, mainly a guy from our city, Meek Mills. So we got to respect T.I. to a certain extent, but when you continue to go over a thing or two, and you know that people heard you, you don't have to keep repeating yourself. You don't have to keep saying the same thing over and over. <clears throat> and to take actions to take it off a plaque, or a painting, or whatever the case may be that they had hanging up of this brother is a disrespect because that man earned that respect. I think we got to get an understanding of the big homies not wanting to take advantage of the little homies. And I can say that because at a time I was a vicious person. And, you know, when you do things like that, it's evident that it's wrong. You can feel wrong. Even when I was a vicious individual, I would feel it was wrong. It's just that, 
you know, in the land of the streets where everybody's wrong, it doesn't matter your feelings. But we're not talking about streets. We're talking about the individuals, two individuals that come from the streets that change their lives. Why do they have to beef back and forth about Kodak Black speaking on how he would treat or how he would go at Lauren London? It's just a guy showing that he still look at her as more of a star than himself because he's admiring her to a certain extent. <clears throat> so you would think that a dude would understand it and laugh that off and when everybody that was roaring the situation on, oh man, you see that? Oh, he can't come back here. He can't come back here. You would think somebody would intervene and say, you're taking it a little bit too serious. We understand your pain for Nipsey, but at the end of the day, there's no need no way possible to try to dishonor somebody based off of how you feel it should go. Life doesn't go your way all the time, and you cannot, I repeat, you cannot force people to think and act like you do. But when you go physically and take down a person's plaque or whatever individual had in a museum, a trap museum, whatever museum it was, that's dishonorable, man. That man earned that respect. He earned that respect. Go find somebody else to bother. You have a lot of people to bother, mainly Floyd Mayweather. I feel as though if you wanted to bother somebody, Floyd Mayweather would be the individual that you would antagonize because at the end of the day, he's the one that, you know, made our dishonorable claims towards your wife. But, you know, we get this back and forth thing and we get a thing where as though the youth are stepping outside of watching that and being like, Dang, hey, what T.I., what you trying to do? You know, you don't have a record really out. Um, you might be working, like, you know, making your money work for it, but to really be in these type of, um, you know, activist things, I don't think you qualify for it. I'm almost thinking that if my son can, you know, do a better job, because you got to realize you have to deal with individuals that really know the culture. You know some things about the culture and you read a couple books, but for the most part, I can see that if he knew anything about the culture, he wouldn't return hate to his a younger brother anyway. It's a kid, a young, he's a young man, man. He's, he's growing. At a time, you probably would have done something disrespectful. Maybe not to that extent, but, you know, we all do something dishonorable. And at a time or another, you know, we deserve to get a pass, man. And I want to tell all the youth that the night that you got to give certain guys a pass, man. If you know that you can beat this guy or you can do this to that guy, what's the use of you speaking in a violent manner about this guy? Let that person speak and you smile. See, smiling is more mature. And smiling gets things done in a serious matter because people get to understand that if you don't smile a lot, why is he smiling? I'm King Ernest from the Honor Your Life campaign. The goal is to structure our minds. To go forward, I could say a lot of different things about a lot of different people when they come down to the Lauren London and the Nipsey Hussle situation. I think they should just honor the man and respect who he is, you know. But at the same time, watch how you get in between certain kind of business because some people feel like she's a woman and that if he's not here no more, why can't I be the man? Or, you know, it might be a lesbian that she got to watch out for all ends that may step up and be like, she could be the woman. You never know. People coming in different, you know, elements of how they coming. And, you know, she's able to, you know, weave them off because she seems like a woman that has a lot of honor. The next man she get, he'll be groomed and he'll never be able to outlive Nipsey and the things he's done because as Always, when you get a man that has honor like that, that mark will be left in the home. I don't care what woman have I dealt with. Whatever the case may be in my past, my marks was left in their mindsets, and they spoke how I spoke. They carried it like I carried it. So make sure y'all tune all the way in. Also, be sure to make sure y'all don't forget to get your CMOS gold. 92 of that 102 minerals your body is made of and get that honorable cream. I told you I wasn't going to be greasy, greasy, greasy. Go right in your pores. And that moringa is greasy. It's honorable for your pores. Just like the frankincense is honorable for your pores. The frankincense is honorable for your skin. 
the CMOS gold is honorable for your skin cells. I mean, you got the full package when you got King Ernest honorable cream. And everybody going to say, yo, but I'm saying, why is it not like the ones in the store and all that? Because this is natural. The togetherness is like, err. And like when we disperse, we're supposed to use it. We're going to do what we're supposed to do. And we're going to get all those marks out of your face. Women with the stretch marks. Brothers who want the frankincense that, you know, you smoke and you're trying to come away from it. You can chew the, chew the frankincense like like gum. I'm just giving y'all some up and up on uh, I'm King Ernest from the Honor Your Life campaign. Stay tuned in because every day I give you some honor for you to be able to say, Dag, I need to hear more. Live and direct. Go follow me on Instagram at King Ernest 1 also.